Many cultures have practiced both saunas and fasting for thousands of years. The benefits of saunas include improved cardiovascular health and lower heart rate, better blood circulation and blood flow to skeletal muscle, increased endurance and strengthened immune system. It also flushes the lymph system from toxins and pathogens, clears the skin and maintains youthfulness, lowers risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. Using the sauna four to seven times a week, is associated with 40% reduced risk of all-cause mortality. What? Intermittent fasting also has similar benefits in terms of longevity and skin health. Most of the benefits of fasting are mediated by autophagy, which is the central component to life extension seen in caloric restriction. Deficient autophagy promotes aging and disease. But how does taking a sauna help with autophagy? Heat shock proteins are a family of proteins that get produced in response to heat stress and they help to adapt to the stress through hormesis. They get released under environmental conditions of inflammation, heat stress, starvation, hypoxia, or even water deprivation. Heat shock proteins prevent the accumulation of free radicals and cellular damage. They repair damaged, misfolded proteins similar to autophagy. They also promote cellular antioxidant capacity with glutathione, and they're involved in macroautophagy and cellular turnover. Heat shock protein mediated heat exposure has been shown to increase the lifespan of flies and worms up to 15%. Hormetic heat stress and heat shock factor 1 induce autophagy to improve survival and proteostasis in C. elegans. Worms who are deficient in autophagy fail to benefit from the heat shock, whereas the ones with intact autophagy did. This may indicate that a lot of the benefits of heat shock proteins are mediated by autophagy. Mitochondrial autophagy protects against heat shock induced apoptosis, which makes it even more important for stress adaptation. If you just sit in a sauna while blocking autophagy, you may be causing more cellular damage than necessary. Basically, any kind of environmental stressor, whether that be the cold, the heat, hypoxia, or starvation, is going to make the body stronger against those things through hormesis. Heat stress also releases massive amounts of growth hormone, which will inhibit protein breakdown. Growth hormone stays elevated for several hours after the sauna, and it has incredible anti-catabolic effects. The thing with growth hormone is that it's not going to make you build muscle. It's simply an anti-catabolic hormone that protects against muscle catabolism. Fasting also boosts growth hormone by 1300 to 2000% after the 24 hour mark. It's another anti-catabolic response the body triggers to protect against stress and maintain muscle. So, if you're going through these extended fasts, or if you are doing daily time of eating, then it's definitely a good idea to combine it with taking a sauna in a fasted state. You're gonna release more growth hormone and that's gonna protect against muscle catabolism even more. Plus, sitting in a sauna also burns a bit more fat because you're gonna flush out some water as well as mimic some cardiovascular work. Mild cold exposure and rewarming induce autophagy. Cold shock proteins and heat increase a protein LC3, which is associated with the inner membrane of autophagosomes and increased autophagy. Combining ice baths or cold showers with saunas is an amazing way to boost the effectiveness of the heat. Winter swimming with saunas has been shown to trigger hormetic adaptation as well as increase lysosomal enzymes. The alterations in temperatures promote more blood flow, stimulate the lymph system and hormetic stress. What I like to do is to take the sauna for about 10 to 15 minutes, then go outside, jump into an ice lake or some ice bath and sit there for also like 1 to 2 minutes. And then I go back into the sauna, stay there for another 10 minutes or so and repeat it for several rounds. It feels quite amazing and you experience this massive surge of blood flow and endorphins and everything else if you alter between this high heat and high cold. So yeah, it's definitely an you know, awesome trick to trigger more autophagy as well as like, heat shock proteins. All right, everyone. Chill. Infrared saunas use infrared lamps to warm your body directly, unlike traditional saunas that heat the air around you. Regular saunas open up the pores of your skin and stimulate more lymph flow, but infrared saunas penetrate deeper into joints, muscles and organs. However, most infrared lamps emit a small amount of electromagnetic radiation. That's why you want to use a low VMF unit. I'm using the Clearlight saunas because they're low EMF and come at a reasonable price. If you want to get yourself a low EMF infrared sauna, then use the code SEAM for a 75 euro discount. As you can see, there are benefits to both taking saunas as well as doing intermittent fasting. In a study done in Finland, people who use the sauna two to three times a week had 22% less chance of dying to a sudden cardiac event than those who used it only once a week.
Those who went to the sauna four to seven times a week were 63% less likely to experience cardiac death and 50% less likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to those who used it once a week. A lot of the benefits of both fasting and saunas are mediated by autophagy. It's not only a process of junk removal, but it's also a hormetic adaptation that makes you stronger. Without enough autophagy, you're basically not clearing out your cells that effectively, which is going to accelerate aging, but you're also making yourself weaker. You, you're not tapping into the hormetic zone. That's why it's so important to incorporate these different hormetic habits and lifestyle practices, such as taking a sauna, taking an ice bath, exercising, and doing some form of intermittent fasting. If you want to know how to master intermittent fasting for performance, longevity, and to become harder to kill, then check out my book, Metabolic Autophagy. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay hormetic, stay empowered. Chill.